Hello and welcome back to my let's play of Barat in your opening of house 4. You know, just chilling a bit. Currently got a lot of calls and state issues to deal with, what the hell. So the state that needs the most right now is the cash, whatever the hell you call them. But I could fix this a bit. And that's by changing my government type from, well, federal to most likely administrative because while I do like the national manpower modifier I do think that the extra income and the improved autonomy would be very good to see at least so when I have the admin I might do it which would make them in theory loyal if I am reading it correctly now with relation to my powers uh, ideas rather I will definitely be able to get this idea soon and I do intend to get it quite soon but I could easily go for carbine but I sort of need to get this tech as well if I don't want to avoid if I want to avoid rather the next penalty now the institution will be embraced actually quite soon I think because look at how well it's spreading it's already starting to really make its presence known in my country now if I were to fight Bundel I would do it in place of Bengal and I would try to take as much as I can that borders Bengal as to prevent Bengal from gaining more but that's unlikely to exactly happen due to how this is currently going to work. So I will get the finest of horses and then I'll be focusing on the tech. I'll sacrifice said ducats. But yes, this makes my armies furthermore even stronger. So I can get ready to engage Barat. Now he is going to likely be attacked by Bengal. And again, Bengal is a uh, administrative right now, so you wouldn't actually attack him, which is a uh, of great benefit actually. Now, when I have the splendor for it, I'm getting an absolute government. I need that pretty much because it will be immensely useful. So, the Netherlands is just growing now. Let's see, can I change my government to what I want? Boom. That's a very, very poor daughter. I'll deny it. But would you look at this? It's like magically. These are all right with that because now they expect less which is uh, immensely useful really so now I don't have to worry about giving them more land and I can take my time with coring everything which is quite important as I might want to core it quite soon as when I don't want to ally you so my manpower is decreased so I am going to get to using it right away by attacking the... well really Bengal is unlikely to attack them so he can take my time and I do need this tech rather urgently I might add but it's going to take forever to become a thing so I'm going to start be... I'm going to be paying for said issue soon the best I could do is demand from the Brahmins can I uh, have the administrative support but they haven't got the influence for it but it would only give me a small amount of admin yeah, that certainly would not go amiss with how expensive some of these are I will be having to wait quite a bit of time but I do certainly want to fix up my borders with Bundel. Namely these two provinces and these two provinces would be the first to go. 
which would be quite normal, I suppose. Now, Bengal is still behind me, as, well, both of them are, and I also have the superior set of ideas as of the moment. He has got offensive, but what does Bengal have? Quantity, fully done. Nothing else. So inferior should be able to crush them in terms of quality. And I will be able to use up this extra amount of power, I suppose, right away. While this does put the institution embration back a bit, it does make them less likely to attack me. And it does give me a more significant force to engage them with. I doubt Bengal will be willing to attack against a foe with superior troops and higher, well, equal or higher numbers. Keep the game going. Because, well, look at it this way. I'm going to have a bigger army than Spain. Bengal is not going to be able to compare to me. Because I'll have the superior troops and I'll have the superior military. They've managed to this is not a good sign. Okay. I need to get it embraced quite soon, but it is spreading everywhere in my nation. Which does in help decrease the cost. My capital of all places is currently slowly getting it. I think it will take a fair bit of time, but I will have it embraced quite soon. Probably about three, four years. Well, probably more than that. I'm not very good at estimations. Never have been. So the next idea I take will give me even more discipline, and it will also give me available mercenaries, which doesn't really matter at this point. Because I'm so large anyway that mercenaries don't... I don't really need them. So I've decreased my income a bit, but ah, oh, well, it isn't really an issue. So when I start calling all of this, taking even more land, and all, well, if I push Bundel down, and then push Bengal down, I should be able to just conquer them both, sort them out. It'll be done just like that. But I need to catch up and tech. Also, Spain has a weaker army than me, but a stronger navy. Russia's the reverse, and then Ming is just stronger everywhere. But that's Ming, and Ming is unlikely to attack me as long as Tuan goes in the way, and as is Bengal. The best he could do is ha hope Tuan Go declares on me, but that shouldn't call him in. So, anyway, in relation to things, I could easily go into Persia as well, though that is heretic land. Not heretic, Heathen? Heathian. What the hell? France is fighting the Ottomans. France is fighting everyone. This is France, second French reconquest of whatever. And he is fighting pretty much everyone. And how many people are going against him? It's Russia in there. And Russia is fighting and presumably beating the Ottomans up. Which is sort of cool, because I like that. But yeah, it's a giant mess over in Europe, that's all I can say. So this gives better trade, which is always encouraged. So that will, hopefully, yeah, that has improved my income a small amount. Now I need to get this under any circumstance. I have to get it quite rapidly. Anyway, so I'm doing all right in terms of that. Oh, so that's where Ming wants to go, is it? Doesn't that imp yeah, that does impact your legitimacy, because... Yeah, it's a balanced thing, it's really annoying, because they'll just do it over and over and over. 
I suppose what I'll do is I'll, uh, first of all, counter espionage your stupid face. Second of all, I'll probably do it back to you, but you've got the mandate, so it's pretty much useless. I'll just smash Ming into the ground when I can, and there's a chance that that is going to happen. Now, I do not need to... It always tells me. I have it updated to and so. Click on it. Ah, oh, nothing. Hmm. I wonder what's broken here. And what on earth is up with the volume? It's a bit buggy. And it's fixed. Okay. So, I have a much larger army than what I could put against... I've just been building a spy network in you for years, haven't I? And well, it shouldn't come through on your size. Desh, okay. That's that's an interesting air, and that is a very good empress. Now I could call all that, but I'm not going to even try. I want to get this for the production efficiency and to prevent the imbalanced technology issue. So my capital, oh God, this is taking ages. Mercantilists, pr prestige and legitimacy, or mercantilism. Mercantilism increases money. I want the money. And it is going to get done in a few more places, this institution, before I embrace it. Most likely in Congo, for example, and some of the other southern areas that have high percentages already. Yeah, Cochin, I don't want your alliance. Because that probably just drag me into an utter fucking shitstorm. If I attack them, I doubt Bengal will jump in on it because it is an administrative ruler and they do have him for quite some time. Secondly, if I were to attack them now, I could probably beat them take a bit of their land up here to weaken their trade over there. But that trade leads to Doab, and Doab leads to Bengal. Bengal should be the priority. I shall take that for the hope of gaining more stats. Doab, I, um, I'm already transferring with just 26% power quite a fair bit. Bumbel is likely collecting there. I would rather lose that loyalty than anything else. And the amount I'm transferring from there is very high. So yeah, this is this is going quite well. That's all that's just growing into a giant blob at this rate, isn't it? Or at least a very powerful small country, because that is very well developed as an area. I'm not sure just how well developed, but it is immensely well developed. I think France lost land, so good job France. Not sure what's happened over here. This is just a mess and looks ugly as hell. Yeah, this is going to be quite the interesting time, isn't it? Now, if I were to deal... Well, have they got it? They actually have. Bengal hasn't got the printing press. What they do have is the... Uh, he's equal in tech to me now. This, is, this isn't good, is it? He has got a better leader for it but he isn't going to be aggressive and I will reach it quite soon actually oh who's uh, wanting to rebel? oh is it these pieces of shit Balasaur Sri Kah whatever
and well, let's actually have a look where these provinces, I need to work that out quickly before they actually rebel. It's probably over here, isn't it? Well, would you look at that? Hmm. So these two here, and there's also Katak, which is being a pain in the ass. So send the, oh yeah, it's the nobility you're having in a... convince some of them to stay, ruin their lives, you know, typical stuff. But I could get the discipline, because I'm not going to be able to take the tech unless I want to pay more money. Which is slightly painful, I suppose, but it could be worse. Now, with this down here, I will have a fair bit done in terms of... Well, the money I'm going to need is going to go down for a start, which is just about to happen. But the money I'm making is still going up, so, eh. So I want to keep an eye on this. There's a possibility it'll just rebel and 34,000 will spawn on 20k stack. Which isn't nice, I'll put it that way. A general just died, I don't like that. Let's hire a new one. Well, would you look at that, they rebelled in Kutak, which I don't like. Can, will these both arrive on like roughly the same day? 15th and 12th, so you have to wait 3 days. Slightly off, but it doesn't really matter, they'll both get there on the right-ish times roughly. Deal with those, and they're dead. Goodbye, have you executed. So that will just temporarily put a dent in my income. But it won't really matter much in the long run. Well, that's just had it embraced. This is going to have it embraced soon. Yeah, it's going to be embraced quite soon, I think. So, well, what's next? I mean, Bengal has a relatively small coastline, they should be able to force their navy out and defeat it once again. I can upgrade all of these carracks into galleons, but that would cost a lot. But it's a good idea to do so. But I can still force the Bengal navy into the thing with just these, I think. So that's his combat fleet there, I think, and it's all of six ships. No, that is not a combat fleet. Okay. If I capture this fleet spread out like that, I think I'll beat it with no losses at all, which is highly beneficial. And, well, you can imagine just why it's highly beneficial. And, well, there's a bit of a issue in some places. But anyway... So if Bundel were to be taken over, quite a large portion of it, even. How much splendor do I have? 400, so... I have quite a bit of time yet to get before I get that. Hmm. So, let's see. There's no real way to manage that and get more easily for me right now. So I would get Lever Cannon and uh, the North Indian Musket Infantry or the Dekani Musket Infantry. I almost likely go with the Dekani since I am set in Southern India. Let's get another leader. Oh, you're quite good, aren't you? He's got a bit of everything. He's got very good fire and shock. He's got a bit of manoeuvre, a bit of siege. Can get behind that easily. Brilliant guy. But either way, I'll have to end the episode here. What on earth? Mongolia is... What are you doing? Tuango I hate Tuango now. You are ruining the greatest Mongolia I have seen. So Tarango is actually allied... Wait, what? Oh, I thought that was Ming invading him. I was confused, but no, it's just that. 
Yeah, it was pretty different to what I was expecting, I'll be honest. Well, what I was thinking, rather. I hope Tolango gets his ass handed to him. Really do. Because I like Mongolia more than this abomination of a nation. In any way, so... With Bundela, there's a fort here. It's only level 2 though. There's a fort there, level 2, once again. I should be able to take all of this over here with no real issue at all, and it looks like I will be just doing just that. If I uh, take... how much war score is his entire country worth? Just 204, so it would take two wars, sadly, to reduce him to full annex size, and it really would mean I'd have to take a lot on both as well. Now, with this about to go, I should be able to get admin tech immediately, which would be a great benefit. And what about the manufactories? I could start getting those quite soon, or rather building them once I've got this embraced. Now, if I were to get in my capital, I would be able to embrace it quite easily, but yeah. I'm not going to embrace it by taking loans. I don't think you can even do that, can you? But once this is up to full, and I've got the next admin tech, I'll be going for Bundel, I think. No doubt. And I will actually switch back to focusing on this. Or, no focus at all, actually, might be a better idea at this point. Now he's still withdrawn in contemplation, so there is a whole bunch of stuff the end of internal conflicts for the Golden Horde. No, the Great Horde, actually. Russia is now fighting... Oh, lovely. So he's fighting quite a few people at once. Great Horde, Russia, Persia and Bengal. Well, would you look at that? They are fighting back with quite a bit of force, even. I'd like to know just the size of the armies on each side are there, but can't really look at that. So, yeah. But bloody hell, the Ottomans are eventually going to be eaten up, I think, by trying this. Alan. Oh, that's that's brilliant. I should go to war right now because of that. So I've just gained two Diplo power. You know, saying I already had a slight bit of excess. Once I've switched to an administrative focus, because I don't really need the military power severely now. I will need the admin now, very severely. I'll switch back to this get it going and that's just got embraced and that's going to get embraced next well I think this is the end of the episode going to be uh, shown by taking this and also by embracing that institution and getting the tech right now well not right now due to this but it's, it's about to arrive it's about to happen oh ah. But he died. Now I've got a production efficiency dude, which is even more money. Let's just get an embrace there. You know, save an extra 40 ducats. And take that was perfectly timed. Specifically so I could get that. <laughs> of course it was. And, where well, would you look at that? I've now got this, the Dakani Infantry. So, they're down, the, they're the Southern Infantry. They've got better defensive values in terms of fire, but they have slightly less morale offensive. And I've got the Lava Cannon. Morale for Raiders, the only ones available. And, well, let's finally switch back to this. That means my middle power gain is very low, but it could be worse. But now I am pretty much geared up for war against either of these, especially due to my current modifiers. But either way, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time where we will be going to war 
and we will be winning. Either way, thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye for now.